A few people have asked me where I get these little glass tablets for engraving on. I don't buy them though, I make them myself and this video is going to take you through the whole process of how you make them. But before I get on with that, there is something very important I need to say first and that's a big thank you to everybody who's subscribed um, to my videos. It's a real shock to me that anybody is interested enough to do that. So I really appreciate it and thank you very much. To cut your glass, you're going to need a glass cutter, obviously. I like to use a little drop of oil in it, and in this case I'm using baby oil just because it's nice and light. And I also have a straight edge I can use just to help me keep a nice straight line. Now I've marked the lines out onto the piece of glass, and I'll start by cutting all the straight lines because straight lines are actually fairly easy to cut, and they snap quite nicely. The only thing I would say is if you are doing this, I would recommend you wear a pair of gloves. I know I'm not wearing gloves, but honestly, sometimes the glass can shatter and you do not want to get cut. And it is just a case of repeating that same process for all the straight lines. Curves are a little bit more difficult to cut, but still fairly manageable. Again, a little bit of oil onto the cutter helps, and then a steady hand to follow the line round. I've turned it over so that the score is on the bottom. Now by tapping on the back of the glass I can begin to open up the cut. It doesn't go quite all the way around at this point but I can continue tapping at the glass and then pressing gently on the back of the glass until the crack runs all the way around to the other side. The cut isn't perfect, there are a couple of little horns of glass at either end, but those can be easily ground off at the next stage. If you've watched any of my other videos, particularly the one about making tea light holders out of glass bottles, you will know already that I don't have any very fancy setup for grinding the glass. I use these diamond coated discs and a little bit of water. In this case, the cut's already quite smooth, so I don't need to use the coarse one. I'll just give it a, an initial grind with the 400 grit disc. What I'm looking for is to get the edge all kind of matte looking, where there are little shiny bits still, that means it needs a bit more grinding. Once I'm happy with that first grind down, I can move on to the 1200 grit disc and just finish off the edges. And it really is just a case of repeating the same process around all the sides of the bit of glass. The only very slight complication in this case is that I have a curved edge to deal with, but it's just a case of working your way around the curve. The process is exactly the same. An initial grind with the 400 grit and then move on to the 1200 grit to finish it all off. After it's had a bit of a wash, you can see it's all ground down quite nicely, all nice and smooth, no sharp edges, nothing that could cause a problem for anyone. 
Before I show you the final stage of sticking the pieces together to make the tablet, I'm just going to quickly engrave this little dragonfly onto the glass. With the engraving finished, and just for a bit of fun, I'm going to add some gold leaf to pick out some highlights on the dragonfly. This is 23 karat gold leaf on a transfer sheet, which is easier for me to handle than loose gold leaf ever would be. After I've applied all the gold leaf, I can use a soft brush and a cloth to remove anything that's loose or anything that I just don't want to be there. This is the last stage, sticking the two pieces of glass together to make the tablet. You'll see I've marked a line on the base just so that I can line it up and make it very nice and straight. I'm also going to use a tri-square to keep the top section perpendicular to the base. The secret to this process is this glue. It's a, a UV setting epoxy resin. All I have to do to stick the pieces of glass together is to apply a, a small amount onto the glass here, enough to make a decent seal, but it doesn't need to be a huge amount. And the glue comes with this little UV torch, which I then shine onto the joint. Now it takes about 40 seconds or so to cure, but no longer than that. It works really very quickly. And you can see that's it set already. So that's it, the whole process of making one of these little glass tablets. I hope you found it interesting and maybe useful. If you have any questions, then leave me a comment. Or if there's anything you would like to see a video of, leave a comment and if I'm able to do it, I will. Thank you for watching.